So it is that time again. Every team looks to write its own special script. Moments like this are to be savoured. Hopes are high. A good start. That is what they all want. Well, the pre-match build-up has been fantastic. Now, the game itself. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. He's found the way. Terrific header. He will be livid with himself. Oh, it's a sweet ball, that. Skillfully cut out. He is so at ease on the ball. And he was quick to react. Asensio. That's a... F Williams! He can get that clear. Ball is over the line. Now that's well seen too. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Jordan Pickford. He's a great all-round goalkeeper, Peter. Uh, great at shot-stopping and dominant in his box. He also gets counter-attacks going with his accurate long passes. The opposition should be a little wary of committing too many men forward to attack because if it does break down, this guy can get them in trouble pretty quickly. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Williams! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. Spain really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. And we have our very first corner. That's a decent clearance. Nico Williams. Now the finish! And another time! Denied brilliantly. Yeah, he was well placed to deal with that. It's their second corner of the game. England can start a counter here. Foden. And it's Kane. So a third of the match or thereabouts gone, and we still await the first goal. Williams. It's run loose here. Looking for the run, and the cross comes in. He has saved the goalkeeper's blushes there. What great defending. Rice. Foden. Spread it left as Pliqueta gets across to intercept that. Well, I'm not sure how the stats look in terms of expected goals, but nothing actual has materialised so far. Nico Williams. Good spot, he's seen the run. Pedri! Oh, and that is really good tenacity. Corner number three coming up. That has been knocked clear. Nico Williams. There will be one minute at a time. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Towering header. Loose. And the follow-up. He's delivered all right. Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time. But when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. Some heroic goalkeeping, but even that couldn't save them this time.
Look, that's one of the first things you learn, whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky, it'll come your way. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think they lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Spain head in, having made the crucial breakthrough. And to that end, there is a degree of satisfaction there. The lead by no means decisive yet, but so far, so good. 1-0 at the break. And the finish! It's in! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. And that really is so, so impressive. I'm not making any apologies, but I was willing him to supply the finish, and he came up trumps. So that's two now without reply. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Bellingham. Kyle Walker. Referee's given a throw. Oh, that was expansive and incisive, the type of move to please any coach. Now then, the ball's come loose. And here's Kane. Now it's decent hit! And he has kept it out somehow. I think he's done great there, both reading it and dealing with it. Aimed beyond the defence. Ferran Torres. Alex Grimaldo. Engages and forces him off the ball. It's loose now and they want to get it back. Big header! It's bounced out! And it's there! And surely that settles it! Not so much sophistication as doggedness and sheer bloody-mindedness. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Three 0 and things are starting to look awfully cosy. Coming on the field is number Spain. Perhaps contemplating their next change here. He's shifting through the gears here. Eze. Oh, well played, well played. And the pass is intercepted. That's played into space. Nico Williams looking to shake off some unwanted attention. Yeah, it very much looks like this defence has, has learned from its errors now. Substitution for England. Number 11, Phil Foden. Number 7, Bukayo Saka. Coming on the field, number 18, number 20, substitution. This is actually place. quite a courageous move, and I lad, ambitious and adventurous too. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area.
Le Normand has got the wrong side of the referee and got himself a yellow card for his troubles. Great leap! Oh, he got himself into a great position. Alex Grimaldo, now it's Oyarzaba. Nicely weighted ball. Now can he find Llorente? A whisker away from making it four. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. That's Pilicueta. Gets his pass away. Oh, not quite. Alexander Arnold. There will be five minutes added time. Trippier. Gordon. Now it's Llorente. Interesting ball. Morata. Out of play for a goal kick. Substitution in progress. Spain have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Loose pass and they could be in. Shot a goal! Well, now it's a race for the ball. And that's that. Perfect result, perfect outcome. A test passed with flying colours. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Spain really deserve a lot of credit for what I'm sure would be a real confidence-boosting win. Such a such a huge game being played. There were so many factors that would have got the doubters going, but I guess...